right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, as always, thank you for watching the videos. And uh, this week we are practicing a John Coltrane uh, diminished pattern. And the pattern here is really simple. It's a whole step. Um, it's a whole step, a major third, and a whole step. Now this is a diminished pattern. It can fit over a diminished chord or it can fit over a dominant chord with a flat nine or sharp nine or um, so we, so there's a lot of places you can play this this pattern. Um, and so this first one here is starting on B flat, C, E, F sharp. And then we, we play the same shape up in minor thirds. Now it's really interesting because I see so much symmetry in this in this shape. And it's kind of a new shape for me. I don't I probably don't play this shape that that often. Um, it looks kind of like a whole tone pattern missing the middle note. But then of course when we go up a minor third then it switches to the other whole tone uh, scale and so now we're kind of out, out of that. But you could play this shape, whole step, major third, whole step, up the whole tone scale. And that's a nice pattern too. But so like I'm looking at this like we're on maybe an E flat seven chord. Uh, and we're playing E flat seven flat nine. So here we are in our half whole diminished scale or auxiliary diminished scale. And yeah, here we go up minor thirds. So here we've got like black notes on the outside and then we have these white notes in the middle. Um, and then we go up and we have a pair of two black notes on the bottom and then two white notes on top. And then we have the inverse of our first position where we have now two white notes on the outside. This is an inversion of that first uh, position that we were in. And then the last one is to have this set of two black notes on top. Now playing up, is cool. It's a little bit uncomfortable for me. I'm using one, two, four, five. I'm trying to work my fourth finger more. Um, and so going that direction is, uh, you know, it's a little bit more uncomfortable. I, I hear this pattern played a lot more coming down. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so if this was on a C7, it resolves nicely to F major, right? If it's on E flat seven, it can resolve to A flat, right? But like any diminished pattern, this can be used on C seven, E flat seven, G flat seven, or A seven, as well as the corresponding diminished chords, right? Which is going to be, let's say C sharp diminished, E diminished, G diminished, and B flat diminished. Um, so that's what we're working on this week. It's a really cool pattern. Um, and there's, there's some interesting things about it, you know, and the more time I spend looking at these shapes, the more I kind of like this, uh, this little, uh, shape to play ideas through, especially like on F, F sharp seven type sound. Resolving to B major. That's really, that's really cool. So take that, see what you can do with it and uh, work it into your plan as soon as you can. All right, happy practicing, everybody.